China economy 2024 shows desperate measures amidst shrinking foreign exchange reserves. Introduction. Hello and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we are diving into a recent development that shines a light on China's economic woes and the lengths to which the government is going to keep the wheels turning. On February 23, 2024, Chinese President Xi Jinping convened a crucial meeting of the Central Commission, focusing on a new initiative to promote. Large-scale equipment and consumer goods replacement. While the stated goal is to stimulate the economy and reduce logistics costs, an expert offers a deeper analysis that reveals the underlying motivations behind this move. Expert commentary: The Chinese government's push for large-scale replacement of equipment and consumer goods is a clear indication that domestic demand has hit a wall. Industries are facing a severe lack of new demand, leading to a buildup of inventory. And the potential halting production. To counter this, the government has resorted to a strategy of replacement rather than stimulating genuine demand by offering incentives for consumers to trade in their old items for new ones. The government aims to create an artificial sense of demand and keep the production lines moving. However, this approach has several drawbacks. Firstly, it does not address the root cause of the problem, which is the lack of real demand. Secondly, it diverts resources away from more productive investments and innovation. And thirdly, it creates a vicious cycle where consumers are constantly pressured to upgrade their possessions, leading to excessive consumption and environmental waste. The real reason behind the replacement drive, but there's more to this story than meets the eye. According to experts, the government's sudden emphasis on replacement is directly linked to China's dwindling foreign exchange. Exchange reserves. China's access to foreign exchange has been severely constrained in recent years due to a combination of factors, including trade disputes, geopolitical tensions, and the global economic downturn. This has made it increasingly difficult for China to import essential commodities and raw materials, which are vital for its manufacturing sector. To cope with this situation, the government is trying to reduce its reliance on foreign exchange. By promoting domestic consumption and recycling, by encouraging consumers to trade in their old items, the government can effectively reduce the need for imports and conserve its precious foreign exchange reserves. The impact on Chinese consumers, while the government's intentions may seem well-intentioned, the consequences for Chinese consumers are far from positive. The replacement drive places an unfair burden on ordinary Chinese citizens. They are essentially Being forced to pay higher prices for new items while simultaneously being deprived of the full value of their old possessions, this is a form of wealth confiscation that further erodes the purchasing power of the average consumer. Additionally, the government's focus on replacement creates a distorted market where consumers are constantly pressured to buy new products regardless of whether they need them or not. This leads to overconsumption, waste, and a decline in the quality. Quality of life. Conclusion. In conclusion, the Chinese government's push for large-scale equipment and consumer goods replacement is a desperate attempt to maintain economic growth in the face of dwindling foreign exchange reserves. However, this strategy is unsustainable and comes at a high cost to Chinese consumers and the environment. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs. On the capture the intelligence channel.